Anemia is essentially is defined as a reduction in hemoglobin. Now, in females, this would be less than 120 grams per liter. In males, this is less than 140 grams per liter. However, you could also define anemias based on a reduction on hem hematocrit, which is the amount of red blood cells to the total blood volume. Now, to understand, in this context, anemia is based on categories, which are based on the size of the red blood cell. We can break it into small cells, normal cells, or large red blood cells. To understand this, we have to know that red blood cells are created in the red bone marrow. After about three days, they transition from a stem cell into a reticular site, which is an immature red blood cell, and then it moves into the blood. To understand or calculate how we work out the size of the red blood cell, basically what we do is divide the hematocrit by the total um, the total number of red blood cells, which gives us a number known as the femtoliter, and that's the size of the red blood cell. So a normal red blood cell should be 80 to 100 femtoliters. If it's below 80, it would be considered a small red blood cell, which are the microcytics. If it's a large red blood cell, it would be the macrocytic. So this is up above 100 femtoliters. Now, what would cause them? In terms of the small red blood cells, this is where we have a problem with hemoglobin. We don't have enough, we have a problem with the hemoglobin packing into the cell, therefore it makes it small. Some of the causes here could be iron deficiency, a lead toxicity, or thalassemias alpha beta, which is essentially a hemoglobin, a hemoglobinopathy. So these are small cells. When we go to a normal red blood cell, but it's a reduced hemoglobin, it could be caused by either a production issue or a destruction issue. With the production issue, we have a problem in the red blood, in the bone marrow. This could be through something like leukemias and we have an aplastic anemia. Whereas a destruction issue, it could be something like a hemolytic anemia or we just have acute blood loss. Now when we go across to the macro, this is where we have big cells. It's a problem with the way that the red blood cell is maturing. This could be caused by a B12 or a folate deficiency and that causes problems with the DNA in the nucleus and that uh, affects the way it matures. So these big cells are also immature. Another type of big macrocytic um, anemias is alcohol abuse, but they are usually big cells that are mature. So now answering the question. The question was actually a tricky one because the first sentence gave some distractors like being a vegan and a female. So some of you would think, iron deficiency and pernicious, which would be correct, but the next sentence actually stated that it was a normocytic anemia, which would be this type. So it has to be, in terms of the answer, a hemolytic anemia. It can't be iron deficiency because that would be a small cell. It can't be a thalassemia because that would be a small cell. And it can't be pernicious, which is B12, because that would be a big cell. So the answer has to be a hemolytic anemia because the cell was actually normal, but it's just getting killed off, and that's why we have the anemia and would ultimately have a reduction in hemoglobin.